to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Caitlin, and today's video was actually suggested to me by one of you over on Instagram, and it is an Easter outfits video, and I just thought that's an incredible idea, so that's what we're doing today. These are five different outfits that are all super pastel and spring and just remind me of Easter time. And I love them all, I think you will too. Just before we jump into the video though, I do wanna make just a quick little announcement. I have decided to change my upload schedule just a little bit. Not to worry, there will always be a Fashion Friday video every single Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, as always. But I decided that I really wanna start doing more vlogs because I love vlogging, I just don't have a lot of time to do it. But going into the summer months, I'm gonna have a bit more time, so I do wanna start doing more vlogs. So what I've decided to do is I've decided to start uploading sometimes on Sundays. If I have a video for you guys then I'll upload and if I don't I won't but I just didn't want you guys to see a random video on Sunday and be like what's going on did she post it on the wrong day no I didn't that's just something that I think I'm going to start to try doing now so fashion Friday and then vlogs on Sunday but without further ado let's get into what you guys came here for the outfits Okay, you guys, so here is the first outfit, and I absolutely adore this one for Easter. I think it's so cute and bright and perfect for going into the spring season. You might recognize some of these pieces from the recent Spring Shein try-on haul that I just did, which I was actually really impressed with. So this top here is from Shein, it was in that haul, and I just think it's absolutely adorable. It has this really gorgeous broidery design on it, which is just incredible. I love broidery, especially for the springtime. I just think it's so fun. Fun and classic and chic and I love it. The little puffy sleeves are so princessy and cute and you guys know I love all things princessy so that's adorable and then it also cuffs in at the bottom of the sleeve and has this really beautiful trim on it and it's got that same trim all the way down the neckline. The pattern of this shirt is adorable. It's a great spring floral pattern. It's got these cute little pink flowers as well as the browns and the greens and all together I just think it's such a cute little top for the spring. It has a little wrap-up detail so this belt right here that looks like it's on the shorts is actually part of the top. I just pulled it down because I think it looks better there and you can see a little bit of the scallops of the shorts at the top of the waistband as well, which I love. These shorts are another Shein product. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just recently did a haul, so I'm using my new stuff. But these are also Shein shorts and they look like a really, really fantastic Zimmerman dupe. I love them, you guys. They were way cheaper, which is incredible, and they have this gorgeous cut around the bottom of the leg, and they've got broidery on them as well, so it ties into the top nicely in that respect. It's so cute because it almost looks like a little skirt, but it's not. They're short, so they're comfy and cute for walking around in in the springtime. And speaking of dupes, these are actually brand new, I don't know if you can see them, but they're brand new little tights that I got, and they are supposed to look like the white Gucci tights. I actually got these from a site called Your Buyer Girl, which is a brand that was started by a girl I used to go to high school with. So when I saw these, I wanted to try them out. And can I just say, they are such a great dupe. I think they were only about $20, which is incredible because they do look just like the Gucci ones. They are a fishnet material, so they're not gonna provide much warmth, but they do just look really cute and elegant with an outfit like this. It dresses it up automatically and just makes you look a little bit more put together, which is fantastic. For the shoes, I went with these little white ballet flats from Zara. There's not much to say about them. They're super cute. They are a little bit plasticky, so they do hurt my feet if I'm walking around for a long amount of time. But I love ballet flats for the spring. I think they're so cute and elegant, and they're very Audrey Hepburn. She used to wear ballet flats all the time, and those are the vibes that I get with this outfit. It's just so cute and fun. And then finally, I have my Kate Spade tote bag. You guys have probably seen this on my channel before in the brown leather, but I actually have it in pink as well. And I think this is really cute with it because the pink of the purse matches the pink on the floral pattern perfectly and it just breaks up the all white outfit really nicely. On the tag it actually has a little bit of the brown leather as well which is great because it ties into the shirt again because as I mentioned it's got the browns and the greens in the top as well and all together I just think this is such a perfect little outfit for Easter. Okay guys, this is the next outfit. This has to be one of my favorites in this video. I just absolutely love this. I feel like it's something out of Gossip Girl. It's so cute. So first of all, I have this really cute knit sweater vest that I got from Zara and I love the sleeves on this. They're so frilly and poofy and I just love them. And then they have all these cute little baubles knitted into them. 
and a gorgeous cable knit design. So I paired this with this little tweed skirt here that has these little pearl buttons on the pockets, which I think are so cute. Unfortunately, they're not real pockets, but that's okay. I adore this skirt. It's from ASOS. I'm not sure if it's available anymore, but if it is, I'll make sure that it's linked. I also paired it with this cute little headband, which actually says Dior all over it. It's supposed to look like the Dior logo all over it. It's really cute. I got it from this brand called Mirna Design, so I will leave that link down below as well. Definitely check her out because she has some really adorable headbands. And then finally, I paired it with this cute little pearl purse that I got from Shein, which ties in perfectly to the pearls on the skirt. I really do think that this is the most adorable Gossip Girl outfit, perfect for the springtime. I also paired it with some rose gold jewelry. So first of all, I went with my rose gold Pandora necklace that I literally wear all the time. It's my favorite necklace. And also this gorgeous rose gold watch that I got gifted to me from Filippo Loretti, which I actually have a discount code for. If any of you are interested, go check out my accessories video. The discount code is linked in that. So if you're interested and you need a new watch, go watch that video. But yeah, I just love this outfit and I think it's just so cute. This purse, actually, I wasn't going to use it in this video because I have something really specific in mind for this, but when I got it and I showed my mom, she's like, that looks like an Easter basket. And my brother said the same thing. He's like, it literally looks like an Easter basket. So I was like, oh, I have to put it in my Easter video. So I caved, I did it, and I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. I think it's adorable. Okay, so this next one, I'm not gonna lie, is a little bit more over the top, but I just love it. And with the colors in this blouse, I really couldn't not use it for this video because it just screams Easter. It's got the pinks and the yellows and the whites, and it just, oh, I don't know. It feels so spring and Easter to me. I absolutely love it. This top is from River Island, and I just think it's really cute. It looks very Zimmerman to me. I love the details on it. So it's got this beautiful eyelet broderie pattern on it. It has an incredible floral design, but it almost looks like watercolor. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just absolutely stunning. The sleeves are a little bit poofy. They're not tight or anything like that. There's definitely more interest on the sleeves, which is super nice. It also has the scallops that I love around the bottom at the waist got them on the cuffs and then it actually has them over here as well and on the neckline and I just think it's so pretty and then the back is actually entirely open it just ties up you could always wear like a nice little lace bralette if you don't uh, like having your entire back exposed but personally I really like it like this I think it's so cute and then I actually just paired it with this cute little bubble skirt I made this myself, so I'm sorry you can't buy this anywhere, but I just think that together this just looks like an outfit that's fit for a princess. I then just added this little gold headband, which is super minimal, which I think this outfit needs, but I don't know, I just think it's so glamorous. Like, I love this. This is definitely for a warmer spring for sure, because you've got the open back and then you've got nothing on your legs, but I just think it's amazing. Like, the sun is shining, you throw on your sunglasses, and you just look so, so glamorous. I adore this one. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so here is the next outfit. I think this one is super cute and it's a little bit warmer than some of the other ones that I'm gonna be showing you. So this is a great choice if you're still in the very cool weather and we're not fully into nice spring weather yet, which in Canada, it's on and off. So this is a great choice. First, we have this really, really cute blouse. This I actually got from Zara and I just adore it. It's so cute and it has these adorable little pearl details going up the buttons and also on the cuffs of the sleeve. Just absolutely incredible and then it ties up in a little bow around the neck and I think it's so cute it's so gossip girl and I just adore it I have paired it with these pink jeans which I got from White House Black Market a little while back these are my favorite jeans that I own by far they're actually like super comfortable and they were relatively inexpensive because I think that White House Black Market was closing their Canadian locations at the time which is unfortunate but I got these really cute jeans out of it, so what can you do? I also paired it with this really cute little pink headband that I believe I got at Winners. They have so many adorable headbands there, so they're always my go-to place for affordable cute headbands. And then of course I've just paired it with my favorite little purse. This is my Disney X coach purse and it is just so cute. This little mini kiss lock bag is literally my favorite thing in the whole world and this kind of started like a crazy obsession for me because now I'm collecting Disney purses so whoops but I just love it and I think that it just ties in everything in this outfit so nicely. It's really adorable and I think the colors just work perfectly for spring and Easter and yeah I like this one. Alright, so here is the next outfit. I absolutely love this dress. I got this dress from Shein as well. 
and it's really really incredible it's probably my favorite springtime dress that i own right now and that's really saying something because the amount of pastel dresses that i have is kind of ridiculous but i just absolutely adore this so it is double lined which is incredible i need my dresses to be double lined because it makes them feel so much better and sit so much nicer on your body this little green dress has this gorgeous satin finish and a beautiful little leaf texture to it i absolutely adore it and then the details on this dress are just incredible so like the ruching at the side of the sleeve to make it look poofy and princessy and then the little frill at the bottom of the dress as well the way that this ties around the waist it really flatters your figure this dress and as far as accessories went because the dress is a little bit more eye-catching I went really simple to keep it a little bit more casual so I went with my handy everyday Kate Spade bag I love this bag this is the peach puff color I believe but it's this really nice nude color that's perfect for pretty much any outfit and it has this gorgeous soft leather i also adore these little tassels that they put on it and then the hardware is nice as well the hardware is like this beautiful gold hardware that just says the brand name on it for shoes i decided to go with a pair of flats i know you guys can't really see these that well but i'll insert a shot of them so that you can but they're these little jelly shoes from the brand melissa and like i said they're a jelly texture so it's really really comfortable they are a pinky nude color so they match the purse really really well and the top of them has this cute little ivory detail and a little bow with rose gold metal hardware on it which is why I decided to pair this outfit with this little rose gold headband this is a padded headband and it's got like all these crystal gems on them it's my favorite headband by far that I have and I got it from Winners. The rose gold on the headband really helps to tie in the rose gold on the shoes. And altogether, I just think that this outfit is perfect for spring. It's casual, but it's more of an elevated casual, which I really think is perfect for the Easter holiday season. This is definitely what I would opt for when I'm celebrating. All right, you guys, so those were all five outfits. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know I had so much fun creating it. Make sure you're following me on my socials, so check out my Instagram and my Like to Know It account where you can easily shop all of my outfits that I wear. I'll leave all of my socials linked in the description down below if you're interested. And I'll leave the links for all the pieces that I just showed you in this video in the description as well, so make sure to check that out. Let me know in the comment section down below which one of these outfits was your favorite. And until next time, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!